All right, well, let's proceed on with the Great Pyramid of Giza, and this is by Lego Architecture, set number 21058. So remember in the last installment, we built basically this, and we set it in here. So now I need to start on this part of the pyramid, which is the big white part. The I think it's the, the skin of it. So we're going to pick this up. Slide this out of the way, and let's begin building. <laughs> I just got done with filming a tutorial. And it wasn't a hard tutorial, it was just time consuming. So now we need to take it easy and just copy pictures at this point. And so... Let's get started here. Get this light so I don't knock my noggin on it. So, let's see here. And the camera's obviously at a different angle because the thing is so big. But it's pretty rigid though, nonetheless. So, let's start on this now. And yes, I'm still at doing database work too. I just got done earlier with work. So now it's time to wrap up the project here and get this done. And I'm sorry, especially for those who love reviews, my tutorials come first. So that's the first thing I'm usually focused on uh, when I have an idea in my head is I do the tutorials. And so I don't have to hunt around for parts. Let's start setting things over here. I'm looking for another one of these. And yeah, we got to start with the small things first. So let's start going through things and hopefully we'll find the last slope in here. I see a bunch of one by two bricks, but no slopes yet. Yeah, I see it. Usually it's the first step that takes forever. So, I've been looking on my channel. I noticed there's been some views on these, so that's pretty cool. Okay. And we set this here. And we proceed on with two more 2x10s. Two yeah, uh, building most of the day, uh, it's it's relaxing, but after a while it's like, I want to go and play a video game. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to do that today. I thought, well, I got some spare time. Let's get on the filming real quick. Because, you know, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. I want to get filming. So, I'm going to have to place several of these slopes down here. I think this is the entrance to it. We saw that in the picture, so I think we're doing this is probably the front. Obviously, it's probably because it's the biggest side. And this color of slope here, um, this brick yellow, I don't know if I would use this for any roofing or not. I mean, maybe if you have maybe a different colored house. Like maybe sand green or yellow. Well, the yellow wouldn't go with this. Maybe sand green, maybe a light blue. This would look really good with the roofing. Alright. And I think I may have skipped a step. No, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> it's one of those days. So here we go. They got a bunch of sub steps in here. So let's stick these underneath. 1x12 plates. They're really cool to have, but sometimes they're kind of brittle. Um, you know, or not brittle, but I consider these fragile. You can see if you weren't careful, you could break these. One would break them, but I don't know. So I'm just trying to really mush that in. And then we need a couple of these 2x16s. So it looks like now it's just all big stuff. So this reminds me of the old Lego Creator sets. You know, like I said before in the last installment, I've never done 
architecture before and it's a bit of a treat so let's start building these corners so apparently we're gonna to have to piece these together here and they got them like this I've done this a few times in my own manuals it just it saves so much time I still need to get me a lectern where's a bookcase let's see whether you would a bookcase slabs and planks when you need them or it's just a wood a bookcase and some slabs and I believe there we go we have to make another one in reverse and set it over here kind of silly in case this actually wraps around and see so you really won't notice that if it wraps around until you see the other side there it's like well how do they do that probably why they did it like that in the first place sometimes it's like expand the steps out please <laughs> sometimes if, even if I'm building it even when I do my own manuals I'll get stumped like what was I doing you know, looking for a one by four um, like what was, what was I doing there <laughs> Need another one of those huh must be the only ones left because and I noticed there's a round yellow brick over there so I wonder if that's the one I was looking for that could be it it could have rolled all the way in bag number eight all right let's see here and then the next step is a slide these in down here slide it in it's kind of like multiple steps you're gonna to have to multitask here a bit and stick that in there and that's it pretty much <laughs> stick those in like that maybe I should have had the camera up higher but you know this will do I'm looking for another one of those outside corners there we are I can always use extra roof slopes. I know somebody's like, oh, you're going to part that beautiful thing out. Yep, yeah, you betcha. I don't keep my Lego sets together for long. Like I said in the past, I'm an artist. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> Even with my own creations, I rip them apart. Well, I make a building guide, then rip them apart. Then, if I ever choose to, I can build them, which makes it easier because I already have the building guide done and I can just pull up my guide off my uh, smart device, go in the Lego room, pull out all the parts I need and just build from the instructions. Alright. So now we're going to have to do that. Doesn't look too fun. And, wow, that's kind of fragile right there. Look at that one in the corner, this one right there. Yeah, so that... Uh, that doesn't look too, uh, too sturdy, especially when you're using reddish brown. And they did something like this. Yeah, this is like something if you sneeze, it would just fall apart on you. Okay. All right. Put that in there. Like I said, these make great roof trusses and these fit inside of here so this one actually lines up with this so I'm assuming that these go here now if that's too much for you which it was for me you can also do this too because I have a feeling that this one over here repeats that's exactly what it does you can even just do this shove these in here this one's obviously a space away. Well, maybe that's why they did that. <laughs> Make it harder, huh? There we go. And then we'll stick this here. Yeah, now I see why. That's how I usually build, like that. Mm. Put that there. Stick the corner in there. You know, that's always a topic, though, that we always say, well, what's, what's the correct way to build stuff? 
it's always the method that works for you. It's not about what I do. It's if you see something better than what I'm doing, then by all means do so. And this one here needs two of these in the middle, so I'm just going to do it my way. Stick that right in there. Because they want us to build this part here separate and drop it in. This right here, I mean, that's, uh, that's asking a little too much there. So we're going to do it this way. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes it makes sense for others. And don't you dare fall off the counter book. Looks like we're ready to put the slopes on. So this may be a very short installment. Very short video. So yeah, this is pretty sturdy. It's getting there. And now the fun part begins. We're going to have to roof this whole thing in. Let's make sure it's pretty even. So now we're just going to start piecing this thing together. Remember, there's two bags for the roof here. Well, the facade, walls, whatever you want to call it. And stick that there. Boy, they really are. I'm looking at the next step. My goodness, I don't know what they were thinking on some of these steps. <laughs> and, uh, just don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, the next step is going to be really fun. I'll have to show you. Sometimes when you're building a set, you really don't know the surprises until you jump right on in. I always like the slope pieces. They were like one of my favorites other than tiles. And a lot of my builds, if you've ever really watched them, are pretty basic. I use slopes, bricks, plates, doors, windows, tiles. That's pretty much what it is. I don't really use really any uh, funky parts or anything like that. Like something really crazy or funky. Um, just I'm an old school builder and that's just how it is. Alrighty, now I need another 1x3 that goes there. Where may you be? Well, there's so many of these. What do we do? Well, if we can't find it, I gotta find some containers that are not occupied. So we'll throw all the 2x4s in there. Don't roll off. Caught you. <laughs> Before we can even go to the next step, we're going to have to sort through all these. Oh, I see it now. See, there it is. Now we may proceed. Now, this step is kind of funky. See, here you got to put these behind the steps. Now, I wasn't really paying attention until I saw that. And then we got to put the corners. Well, no, you got to put these here. So, I'm not going to do that corner thing. I'm just going to shove those in like that. That's probably the easiest way to do it. For me, anyways. Matter of fact, I just got done with a tutorial that used several of these 2x2 two two grays. <laughs> and no, it wasn't a Minecraft tutorial. Maybe I should do Minecraft. Now, I've been getting requests for other types of tutorials, too, so I've been kind of figuring things out, what I'd like to do, how I want to approach tutorials, that kind of thing. Making sure you can see it, see it all here. So the last bag that's over there is in a, another one of those butter containers, and it's pretty much... The same thing. <laughs> All slopes. All slopes and no fun. We have business in the front and party in the back, it looks like. Okay, I'm finding one by threes or two by threes. Let's start setting the two by threes in the corners over here so we can find them. Let me just dump these out too so we can make it extra messy.
and it's starting to get pretty, this is pretty strong. Matter of fact, this is a great idea. If these were brown, which is a color you want to avoid, <laughs> these would make great rafters. Because essentially, an old school roof, they used to use lath, and they would attach the tiles to the top. And that's pretty much what that looks like. And they don't have anything for corners, unfortunately, but you could use this method. This is a good idea with this corner, uh, or with, this, with these type of things. So now I'm having a hard time trying to find 1x2s. So what am I doing now? I'm going to start grouping things up. I found a bunch of outside corners. Still pulling those out. This manual's getting on my nerves already. We'll find clothes then. I'll just put my finger in the page. There we go. You know, I'm, if this wasn't an unreleased set, I would download the digital copy because it's actually sometimes easier to use a touch screen and just kind of thumb through the pages like that. And so it's the same step as it was before. We're doing the same thing again here. So, you know, that's pretty much what it is. So we'll just stick these in here first. And you know, there's always debate. Is there a correct way to build a Lego set? No, there isn't. You know, the correct way is having fun. That's that's my method. Is you gotta have fun doing this stuff, um, putting it together. I really, I really like. I want to see this really put together. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, and then now it's party time again. So, yeah, I mean, we're really nailing this out, huh? That one by two in the back. And over here, i got to put a couple of two by six, or two by threes. So I already pulled out. Hold on, let me make sure here. Oh, that's just that. Never mind. It's a one by two. That was another part that I couldn't find. So we're going to have to do another extraction again. Oh, oh no, that's a 1 by 2. There's a 1 by 3. Or 2 by 3s, I don't know. I just got done doing a tutorial, folks. It's a... Uh, brain's a little shot there, because tutorials are just... And basically, it's like copying a book, except, well, the building guides are in my imagination. Uh, I have to take the build apart and just got a mess of bricks on the table. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can put it together from memory. <laughs> and it's usually a challenge, but it's better to do it off of memory than do it off of printed guides. There we go. Well, so far, so good. And then the next thing is the same thing again. So take more of these, and we're just going to continue climbing up, I guess. I don't know how far we're going to get on this, but I'm going to tell you right now, in this installment, this will be the last, because I got a bunch of sets to review. And, yeah. I've seen some YouTubers will speed build right through this without talking. And sometimes it's like some people want to hear the commentary. And that's what I'm doing right now. You know, let's start over here first. <laughs> so, so far so good. In fact, this would make a great roof or something. I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to share with you guys and gals, but the embargo date hasn't came yet, so... Um, I did advertise this channel on my main, and I was like, I'm doing a series on here, which is this. We're going to do some live builds, and a few people subbed, which is cool. And all this live build stuff, you know, eventually, um, you know, like I said, you know, we talk about the reviews on a set, but... Nobody really ever talks about the build process. Look how dry my fingers are already. And 
Well, just like the previous steps, guess what? We're going to have to do the same thing again. But here's the deal. When you're doing roofs, it's always going to get smaller. Now, I can't get this in there. It's pretty hard. So, we'll do it their method. Because then I can grab onto this, kind of wiggle that in there, and set that down. I think that's why they did that in the first place. But... Here we go. And more roof. Alright, so the first thing is we need two of these. I'm going to put these right in the middle first because I'll forget them. <laughs> of course, now we're running out of parts. So, yeah. We're putting this thing together. And I think the other threes go around the back side. They could have just dumped all these parts in one bag because this is going pretty quick. Ooh, well, see. Yeah, this is starting to get brittle here because I pushed down on it. So when you're putting this together, you're going to have to hold underneath it. Just kind of mush it down. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And let's put these in here. And I think that's it. And no, I'm not going to quit the video now. So, so far, it uh, looks like a regular roof to something. Imagine this being on an old Victorian. It would look really good. Let's see here. So bag number eight, and we continue on again, huh? Well, let's go see here. Uh, let's uh, get this book situated. I'll get the parts. All right. So I have my my con my parts in this soap container. And don't worry, I already took out all the soap. Oh, I see some small trinkets and pieces in there. I hope that's not a bad thing to come where this is going to take a kajillion years to put together. Alright. So now, we're going to continue on with the pyramid. Let's start pulling out stuff now. First thing we're going to be doing is looking for some 1x2s. Okay, I found one. We're going to start on this side now. Let's see. Huh. Okay. And I'm going to slowly just start sorting things out as I go here. Yeah, this is pretty uh, pretty brittle on the top. There's more stair pieces, so obviously, yeah. Um, so putting together the top part of this, sh you know, the shell piece... It's, uh, you know, you're going to have to have a lot of patience if you're used to rushing through this stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't rush. <laughs> some of these are smooth and some of them are not. I think there's a middle piece that goes in the middle. No, there isn't. Let's pull that out. So you just got to hold underneath it. Some of these are really smooth slopes. Like these, and some of them have got a matte finish, like a pebbled finish. So, it's got a nice texture. And see these plates behind here? Um, these keep popping out. Um, you really can't mush these down into these steps here. i got to put my hand like right here and just really push that in. I mean, it's a really good sturdy roof so far. But it's not a nothing strong yet until we get it all done. So right underneath the step, and then we'll put that in. Okay, remember we had a hard time trying to find two by threes. Well, I'm setting those off the side as well as one by th one by twos. We got to put the one by two there. So let's just get that in there. And you notice in that last bag. I didn't use this. So guess what? 
we found the missing bricks and nothing was missing in this set. All right. Okay, so we're doing the same thing again with the stairs. Make two and stick them in the corners. So I'll show you how they did it. This is not too bad of a method here. First, I got to find it. You just took something like this, a three by three corner plate. Did that. That's okay. Then you just have to press these down in here. Just be sure to hold on to the previous. Do those line up? Yes, they do. So that's what you would have to look for. I don't know about that. Let me look here. Okay, no, that's not how that goes. So this is not right across, but it's perpendicular. There we go. So it's got to be like that. So they line up. These have to line up. All right, let's build another one. So let's see if we can do this again here. And yeah, it tells me to build two of those, but that wouldn't be right. So it would be like this. Because if you rotate them, it wouldn't make any sense. Are we assuming Lego? You just think I'm just going to do that correctly the first time around? I had to really think on that one. And then the steps pretty much resume from when we left off in the previous. So we'll stick these in here. You know, also, just these bricks alone, you could make these corner rafters too. So if you're building a roof and you want to have an exposed attic, um, the stair idea is really a good idea. That's really a, a brilliant idea to use for strengthening up 45. Now, if we can get them to do one for for 25 degree slopes, would be perfect. <laughs> that might be asking Lego a little too much. Make some shallow steps for that. You know, that'd be pretty cool. All right, put that in there. Got a lot of tan bricks. So I don't know what they're going towards yet. So right now, let's just enjoy the sloping. We have to wiggle that in there a bit. And all right. So I'm starting to slowly just, you know, do this here like that. Don't need that yet. I'll set these over here. Now I'm running across pieces that I don't need. We'll just keep going. There we go. We'll set this in right here. And no, I'm not giving anybody the bird. All right, let's see here. Okay. Now we are getting somewhere. I noticed on the box, though, it looks like whoever, when they were doing their photography, they didn't press down their slopes all the way. And now I can see why. <laughs> see, yeah, look. You can see all the cracks in there. So, you know, even when I do my roofs, it's almost impossible to lock all those together. So you're never going to get it to where it's perfectly seamless. Unless you put one in and you glue it. And surprisingly, there's, there's some builders out there who glue these sets together. I mean... The beauty of Lego is it's it's interlocking. It's it's basically a stud and tube construction where you can lock it all together without having to use glue. It's basically a recyclable product. All right. Okay, back to the boring step again, sticking the plates and the corners in. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to run out of parts sometime. I mean, we got to go up to here, so we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> so okay, uh, let's start piecing her together. 
I know I forgot to put the corners in like Lego does, but uh, something's buckling there. Ooh, see? Yeah, this... It's starting to split, like do the splits in the middle. So, it's something that we're going to have to watch out for. This is not really sturdy on the top. And I can't even line that back up. There we go. So I should have done something more with this. Uh, but they didn't. Yeah, but I got a lot of goodies to show you guys and gals. Uh, not only just tutorials, but parts and reviews. And, you know, my review skills have improved a bit. You know, especially doing these live. I remember when I would do my old live streams, like five, ten years ago. We, when, I, when I build a set, I would sit there and literally review it. I'm like, why don't I do these in the actual review? Instead of reviewing it and just making it sound like it's something that it's not, now I'm like, oh, this is a nice set, but beware, you're going to be building a lot. It's not... If you're, you know, like this, for example, if you're scared doing roofs, you know, this may not be the set for you. <laughs> I kid you not, you know. Okay, and the yawns are starting to set in now. <laughs> that means now the roofing is getting pretty boring. Right, probably the same step. Yep, got to do that all over again. So basically, probably didn't see me the last couple of times from here. This is pretty much what you're doing. Um, I think these set on those tiles that we put in on the uh, adjoining piece to that. Let's see here. So we got a bunch of threes. Well, these this time I pulled out all the threes here. And before I forget, let's shove these two by two bricks in these corners. Okay. And then that's probably why they have you put those in first. I've done so many roofs, you know. And I'm still learning on how to make roofs more efficient where you're not using gobs of parts and that kind of thing. But this set has a lot of white slopes. So if you need, the only thing you're missing is ridge tiles, attic pieces, and the inside corners. But you would have the whole entire roof set up here. I mean, they really just give you a bunch. Not sure how many slopes they give you, but it's a lot. You can really roof up some and say, "Look, it snowed on my house." Now I can start doing snow, uh, snow cottages and stuff, <laughs> just with the roofing on this alone. So this set is a bit. It seems pricey, but you get the big stuff. You get the good parts. You don't get just get some. You know, watered down, heavily stickered set. This so far this doesn't even have stickers, which is fine by me. Because the next stuff that I had received has stickers, lots and lots of stickers. So I'm just still debating: do I need to put the stickers on? I'm just gonna finger these in, but I, I'm gonna, probably going to still have to put the stickers on it. And then when I'm done reviewing, rip the stickers off. Because if you if you're especially if you're a veteran on this channel, you know that I repurpose all these parts. So yeah, let's go ahead and shove this one here. Well, that one wasn't too bad. So yeah, I just repurpose everything. A uh, friend of mine, he keeps all his Lego sets together. He just buys more and more parts. I'm like, no, not me. 
I rip them down. Oh, you rip all your mocks down too. I've had fans kind of get mad at me. I ripped my mocks apart. I'm like, well, here's the deal. <laughs> I ripped them down, but here's the deal. I made a building guide. Oh, so you'll be able to build that again? I'm like, yeah. So let's say I have a need for it. Let's say I build a big Lego city. I can revisit all those old mocks. You know, I can rebuild. Um, it's like the Amityville Horror House. I can rebuild that house, you know. So it's not like it's uh, it's like far gone. Alrighty, well. Well, I guess we changed some scenery. Now we got to shove these in here. So you just got to put four on the top. And this one you're going to have to play. There's a game, maybe not operation, where you have to feed that in and not touch the sides. Finger it in there. There we go. So they got that really sealed in. We went from gray down to tan. I think they're trying not to introduce too many different types of lots. That's something I've been learning on doing my own building guides too, is cutting down part lots. So instead of using something that's like, if I'm only using one of these, or let's say I'm using one of these and five of these, I want to just replace this with this. You know, unless it's something very critical that requires strength. Um, and we got a bunch of threes here, so we're going to have to set all these aside. Now you can see all that too. Okay, cool. How much of the manual can you see? Just a little bit of it. Someday I'll have a multi-camera system where the camera will point down and different angles and maybe do uh, face videos with these too. But I don't know. I'll think on that one. All right. Um, there we go. All right. And then the last piece is one of these in the back. So now we have that flat topped off on the top. But we can't because guess what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to fill more of that in. And they put this, they put this arch in here like this. Now I'm going to show you here. I first thought that was just a bunch of plates. But see how that's all buried in there? You have to be really careful, you know, on reading that. As I would have only assumed it was just something corny. Alright, what goes in here? Oh, a couple of bricks. Like, they make us put this in here. Why don't you just have me stick a 2x4 and save the 1x4? You know, maybe we're just cutting down weight, too. See, my fingers are really red today. Oh, speaking of fingers, some people say, why do my hands look weird? Why do they look dirty? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not just a key pusher. I also do manual labor as well. Um, like doing yard work or when I have to go fix a computer. And no, I don't wear gloves on stuff like this. I'm surprised there's nobody that has done that yet. When they're doing a Lego review, they wear uh, white gloves. That would be taking this a little too far. A little too far for me. So this is all one by, or two by threes now. I always call them one by threes because of the three studs on the top. Basically, these are just converters, like a 1x3 to a 2x3, if you want to look at them that way. I always call these roof tiles, and then they're just called slopes. I think Lego calls them roof tiles. All right. All right, so this goes on the top, and you know how you're getting close to the end is when, well... Not a lot of pieces left, that's all that is right there. So we are getting to the end of this. Like I said, I got a bunch of other sets that I want to get going. And 
they're not quick builds either so some of these may take a few days to put together in my spare time we gotta do another row of these I thought we were almost done maybe we're gonna have to go all the way up to the top and what's with all the other little extra pieces I mean, is there going to be a statue or something on top of that? Well, obviously this is probably the next one. But I'm going to hold off and wait. I mean, we're already down to a 2x4. All this base, and you get up to this little 2x4 area. So what is going on here? All right, and then we put in the last two corners. That want to roll on the ground. All right, let's get that right in there. Sorry, I don't have any stories today. I just did data entry, so I don't want to bore anybody, put anybody to sleep with that. And that's it. And now, which is funny, we slide all this to the side and throw it in the garbage. I'm just kidding. We're going to have to put the base back on here. Well, let's make sure everything is pretty secure. Try to get these all lined up. You can see I can't get them all together. It's, you know, if you really wanted to, you could, but some of these are slightly different thicknesses. It's just a little too impossible. All right, let's see. We'll get this back over here. And it says set it on top. I mean, just put it on there. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, something fell off. Oh, one of these things. Well, yeah, we're already breaking things already, huh? Okay, don't put your hand back there now. Just set it right on the top. And what I'm guessing, what I'm gathering is this just snaps right in place. Does it easily come off? Yep. So I'll put that back down on there. And, well, that's the outside. Okay, so now we got to put a few more things in here now. Making sure we don't have to build multiples. So we got to put something there. I think the reason why this was last because they knew everybody was going to knock those down. I've learned that with doing um, landscaping on my builds. Is save the trees and the flowers for the very last. I mean, it's like building a real house. You know, you don't want to put the landscaping in and have all the workers and contractors and stuff knock it all down. So this goes right here. There we go. Whew, that's done. So I got a few more pieces left. Oh, we got a boat we got to put in there too. Cool. So let's build the boat. I'll see if I can do this on frame here as best I can. And I'm not really following the instructions. I'm just kind of working ahead here on some certain things. These one by ones can be a bit of a chore. So, flatten that down. Well, there's more. You should get two golden roller skates. Does it really matter which way those go on? Um, the lip goes on the outside. I bet that goes on one of these studs here. Oh, yes, it does. And... Okay, I need one of those little frying pan pieces. I think. I know it's one of these. Well, the sail's kind of funky. They shoved this in here, and this is brittle brown, so that's kind of worrisome right there. 
All right, let me uh, kind of show you here. Um, you know, what do they mean by this? Oh, wait a minute, I see. There's a um, oh, one by two round brick that goes in there. All right, so. Oh, it sits inside the little tube, or the peg. Basically, all we're doing, guys and gals, is playing with pegs, tubes, and studs. And I believe that's it. So this just kind of sits lopsided and sits here. And... I'll have to read the information on this. And then the boat just sits right on the stud right there. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Good, we're still recording. The camera still likes it. We still got some pieces left. I'm sure there's probably something that goes over here now. And that's exactly where it goes. What is this battleship? Or now we're building or now we're doing battleship? So we got to make the sail again. But we got to make two of those. First, let me uh, prepare this. And we'll mush it on the table. Make sure it's all flat, and then we'll do our sail real fast. We got to make two sails, so let's just do them right now. Sometimes these are a bit of a challenge to get inside there. It looks like little Wally. I wish I was in this program uh, earlier because I could have got a lot of the cool stuff. Now we got to put these on. And yes, my hands are getting tired. Like literally getting tired. Um, pushing keys all day. Now I'm. Just got done filming a tutorial, which was probably about mm, probably about 30, 40 minutes of filming. And then I'm doing this right away because I want to get it done. And they keep moving the deadlines on these. So I have more time to finish. <laughs> like well, I'm already I'm almost done. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it now. And then you put the sails on the boat. So one goes here, one goes here, and they're kind of like this. So they're not exactly end to end. So that's pretty much what it is, something like this, from what I can interpret. And this one sits right here. I'm not going to do the walkthrough on this. I'll save the walkthrough for the actual. Oh, we're already done. So, got like three pages full of stuff. So, we got a few extra things. Where does that go? Did I miss something? Oh, I did. Right here. This is supposed to go on the bottom. <laughs> All right, let's put that right now in there. We'll set that in there. They should have just had that plate just sitting in there like that instead. Okay, um, that is it. Yeah, it looks like the pitcher. <laughs> so I, I got it. I got it done. I think the only I think there was one piece that I just did not know where it went, and that's that. Uh, this one by two brick could have came from my own collection. I don't know because I was using that color on another project. So. Um, Quick synopsis of everything. How was the build quality? It kept my interest. I had to stop because of work and chores and sleep. 
Other than that, though, it is a nice build. It's basically just a... Uh, it's basically just a shelf hoarder. Obviously, this doesn't go down, but this must be the way... Like, maybe this is just how they get in here, like places they have excavated inside of this. And does this easily pop off? Yes, it does. Probably the easiest way is to tip it forward and just lift it off. And then this pretty much looks like what it is. And of course, the only thing falling off here is the ships. I even get that in there all the way, or did I just get unlucky and knock that loose? And it looks like this thing probably just rests on. I don't know. How does it rest on that, anyways? So the only studs it rests on, I'll show you. It only rests on this one here and that one there. So it's only just two studs holding that whole top on. It's not like it's glued down or anything. It just sets right back in there. And then just press that down and you're on your way. And let's see here. Does it feel pretty sturdy? Yeah, it does. That's what it looks like there. What does it look like on the bottom? Well, that part's facing the table. We don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a very nice build, very, uh, I'm not going to say easy, it was a bit challenging in certain areas, but I managed to plug right through it. Uh, you know, it's not meant for children, obviously. I would say this is probably intermediate building. Advanced, to me, is something that has well over 10,000 parts. This is not 10,000 pieces, obviously, but it is a nice micro build. So, if you have a micro city, this probably would work. Um, if you were to put it like in a Lego city or something, uh, maybe for a theme park, if you want to expand on this. Other than that, though, yeah, I'm already getting tired. But other than that, this is just basically a shelf, uh, just a shelf anchor. But it looks good nonetheless. Thanks for watching this installment of the. Pyramid of Giza.